Okay, so I started putting the trim back in, and now I've got to cut the trim. Um, but I made a mistake when I put this cooler works in, guys, and I just want to let you know what I did wrong. Um, this bit of plastic here that bolts in at the back there needs to be refitted when you've got the steel bracket out for the old shifter and before you get the cooler works in because it's a pain to get in um, and when you fit it as well just have a look at the clearance that I've got so you might want to notch this bit out I went a bit further and I notched this this bit out as well let's get a cable tie so you might want to notch this piece out otherwise it's not going to fit when you put your cooler works in and you're going to have a rub um, and the same the other side so care point get this in first notch that out and then you should be good okay I mean I think I've done a little bit of damage to my cable took a bit of life out of the cable squeezing this past it and I had to relieve this here that down bit that downturn angle um, don't think it'll be a problem but yeah don't do it get this in first as soon as you've uh, dropped the old bracket off and then relieve that corner and you should be okay right I'm going to continue putting this trim back in um, I think I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut the next one I didn't show this one because one I wanted to work out how the uh, how the Dremel worked and how I would finish off the edges but I'm um, quite happy with that now um, all the edges seem quite nice all right so I'll see you later okay guys so in the cooler works instruction pack you get this which is um, how to cut out your um, your gearbox um, trim center console to allow the cooler works to finish because obviously it's bigger now this looks like an R53 I think the, the whole instructions were for an R53 but I think it's similar for an R56 um, what I've done though is I've gone and purchased a Lohan CAE shifter um, button relocation so the three buttons which is sport my, my buttons are there this is not these aren't my buttons but you've got sport and you've got DCS so the three buttons fit into this um, cup um, fitting um, which removes them from where I'm going to be cutting out here and puts them into here and in this one there's this which is a, a pocket because I'm going to cut out along here again it's like a pocket um, delete so all I've done is I've just taped these in stop them from moving and then I've just lined out where I need to cut so I'm going to, need to come down here to here and then I need to come across here and then I need to go back up and then down the other side as well now, um, I also need to drill a hole here for the vertical linkage, but it doesn't show that in here because it's R53, obviously. Um, so yeah, so that's the bit I've got to relieve. So that, that ball will sit about here. So I'm going to drill a hole in there and I'm going to open it up with my cone cutters and then I'm going to bring it down to that but I'm only going to do it as much as I have to so I'm going to drill a small hole, test fit, small hole, test fit so that's what's going to happen so I'm going to run my, so I'm take these out now run my Dremel up here, run my Dremel up there across there, cut this lot out here drill that hole where I think it needs to be which is about there so I'll mark the centre point of the hole um, and then I should go and test fit and if I'm happy with the test fit, I should probably just clean this up and use this one um, without damaging that one. If I'm not happy, then I can take some measurements of the bits that I'm not happy and transfer them onto that one and then cut the one up properly. Okay, so um, I should probably show you a couple of videos of me dremeling, but I'm not going to show you all of it. Okay, guys, I'll show you a before, which is this, and an after. Okay. Okay, so I thought I'd give you <laughs> an update. As you can see, the Dremel makes a pretty a pretty bad mess, but it's the best thing for the top there. Um, and then I've cut down the inside of the cup, and then up around the old um, 
DTC button. Um, what I ended up doing was getting a junior hacksaw, um, getting a junior hacksaw down there, but from this side. So basically, like that, and just joining up the center of the hole there, all the way down to there. There's a lot of debris on the side of the cut here from where the Dremel was, because I got as far as I could with the Dremel and stopped. But that just that just breaks off. It's quite easy to break off, and the edge, as you can see, is quite clean. So I'm going to go and do this side now. As you can see, I've scored it with the Dremel where I'm going to go. And all I'll do is I'll just link up that hole there down the other side and into here with the trusty hacksaw and then i'll give it a clean up and then i'll go for a test fit okay see you later okay so that's the rough cut what i'm going to do now is just go and tidy up these edges um tidy those edges tidy those edges up um give it a clean test fit it see what it looks like and i'm thinking i might have to take a bit off there and i'm thinking i might have to take a bit off there so uh, let's have a look what uh, what this looks like. I want a bit here as well. Let's have a look what this looks like when it's in. So that's the finished article. Um, that was the first cut. The practice one, give it a clean up um, because I thought I might use it if, um, if it cuts okay. But I don't think I want to be using it because of a couple of things. One is all the clips here and are missing for the chrome ring the seals around there and I think I'm going to have that chrome ring in and number two I think I was a bit overzealous with that because I think that is supposed to be flush there and I think I've, uh, I've messed that cut up whereas it should have been like that one so that one's practically okay it's maybe gone a bit deep here as well I don't think you'd, you'd notice that. So, um, right, I'm going to go and test fit th th this in the car and see if uh, see if it fits. And if it does, make some changes and then cut the next one. Okay, it's in. Um, I stopped videoing. I was getting that frustrated with it, uh, with the centre console. Uh, <laughs> my language was my language wasn't what it would be expected from a from a, a channel um am i happy with it shifting wise yes it's absolutely brilliant um really short throw um really notchy nice you can feel it go into gear you know you're in the gear and then you can mash the accelerator it's really really good and it's a very short shift as well so i'm in neutral now so that's second that's first it's really short so it's exactly what it does exactly what it um, says on the tin frustrations um, the instructions that come with it are for an R53 not an R56 and there's a couple of things you really need to know before uh, before you stick it all back together um, I've actually packed up now so I'm not doing any more because it's driving me mad um, purely because so you, you do things that you think are the right thing to do and you end up um, in the position where you might have to take the whole goddamn lot out again and one of the ones is this bit of trim at the back so once you took the old one out and you remove that plate that, that we took out you have to fit that because you can't get that in um, with the cooler work shifter in where you can but I've bent my cable so my cable's not exactly as it should be so i didn't want to take it all back out again so that's a problem um so you need to get that in needs to be in the instructions that does for me and um, i've got nowhere to plug in my um my um usb now um because of i don't know whether this is um the fault of cooler works but mini um they they put this piggyback earth i think it's an earth on the back um and obviously it won't go through the hole there's not enough room with the cool works in position to actually connect that properly um so i'm going to have to come back and and sort something out for that at a later date i can fish i can fish all of the uh 
I can fish all of the cables out, so it's no problem getting the cables out. Well, apart from the earth, the earth doesn't stretch, it doesn't doesn't reach, so um, I'm probably going to have to extend that a little bit. Um, fit and function, not too good. Once you've um, chopped away some of the strength of it, the centre console is a little bit move, does move a little bit. And this um, does move a little bit, it functions but you've got to make sure that you don't have the bush buttons pushed too far through or else um, they don't push so that's a that's a, another one i'm gonna have left to have a look at i'm gonna to have to drill these holes out a little bit i think so i can get the buttons a bit further and the chrome ring around here um obviously i've got to cut that now because when i go into reverse it pops out um Everything else, I'm happy with. It's just the um, it's just the instructions that, that come with the uh, come with the kit. They're all they're all for a um, R53, not an R56, and that is a real piss off factor for me. You don't pay 615 pound for a um, for a kit off Cooler Works, and then have struggles getting it fitted because the instructions aren't detailed enough when you put it back together. Um, well, for people like me, in a way. Once you've done one, I suppose you know then. But um, it would be nice to know the um, the problems before um, you come to fitting. Maybe I'm whinging. Maybe I'm not. Don't care. I forked out the money. I'm not happy with the uh, the way that this fits. I've had enough of it. This is how it's going to stop now um, until maybe I'm settle down a little bit and a little bit happier and got a few more jobs done and then I'll come back and and cut the second console that I've got um, just so uh, it fits a bit better and gives me a little bit more room to try and get the cables out and I want to do something with how this is because I'm not happy with the sport button press at the moment because there's no there's no instructions with this about what to do with your buttons, so um, I'll have to wait and see. I might drop below and um, a message and say how do you set it up? Because you've got two screws, two small screws and a big screw with it, and I haven't got a clue what they're for. <laughs> All right, well that's me. I'm having I've had a whinge. Um, am I happy with it? Fit and function? Absolutely. Function wise, it's brilliant. Um, fit, not happy with the centre console. So I'm going to go and revisit that a bit later. Okay, that's me done. I've had enough of this now. It's supposed to be a quick, easy job. Turned out to be quite a long one. Okay, guys. Well, have fun. If you do it, um, just make sure you fit this correctly um, before you locate it and protect your cable when you're loading this in and out and in and out and in and out for testing because i've actually uh i've actually bent mine there it still works okay i'm not happy okay so that's me done and um if you like what i do if you like what i struggle with like and subscribe and you'll see more stuff that i'm doing okay i'm going to go and edit this now and get it up hopefully the weekend see you later guys bye Right, so I've been working out how to get um, my 12 volt power supply. Oop, dropped it. My 12 volt power supply into the hole where it's supposed to reside so I can plug in my phone charger and keep my phone topped up when I'm driving. And because Mini use this design, which is um, a neutral and earth. On the back of the unit and a piggybacked uh sorry a neutral and live and a piggybacked earth on the back you have to clip this off pop it in and then try and put this back on and connect it while it's in there so what i've decided to do is this is in the bin 
and the blank is going to go in. Oh, oh for fingers and thumbs today. And the blank is going to see how tight it is. The blank is going to go in. And um, I'm going to go and look for somewhere under the dash to put that power supply because I'm not taking this lot out again. I've already damaged my cable as we've discussed before. Um, I've managed to fit the um, the button relocate as well, so that's all good now. Worked it out where the screws go. It's quite easy. Um, and I've also done the reverse gear setup now and this keeps popping out so I've got a bit of work to do with that I'm going to cut that out or even relieve it it looks like when I go into reverse it's going to be a little bit um, too high so I'm going to have to cut that out that shouldn't take long then I should be done and I'm keeping this in until the winter I'm going to get in touch with Cooler Works about a new cable just it's in here you run the internal through the sheath in there connect it up and away it goes um, so that shouldn't be too bad I'll talk to him about changing that and get one when I put my other um, other unit in cut this one properly so I did miss some cut some cutting out underneath here to route the sport and DSC buttons which I had to do in the car with it in the car so I was very careful with the uh, with the um, cabling. Yeah, so it's stopping like this now. Um, and I'll go and find somewhere to run the power supply from my phone, hold it, goes down there, and the back of the moment goes under the dashboard. So I should probably just pop this off and put a uh, and put a 12 volt supply down there somewhere. Okay, so this is out stopping now. I'm considering it fixed until the winter. And then I'll, uh, I'll recut one of these and get it a little bit better. Alright guys, so that's the Cooler Works finished.